Welcome back to Let's Roger That, everyone. I'm Gilles. Today, we're going to do a little video that was basically prompted by some of my viewers. I recently made a video on replacing the gear on this, sorry, on this Align Power Feed. And it wobbles <laughs> like something I've never seen before. So let's dismantle it and let's find out what's going on. Okay, first things first, let's remove that cover. All right, take that gear off, and I already see this is a brand new gear. Uh, it's, it's fine, there's no damage. really unable to give you, and I know you've got a thread of this here, but that's See, like, there's no real other way of getting this thing out. There it is, I think. All right. Okay. So we know, I know that this wheel is fine you know we just installed this thing everything is nice and straight this is basically the shaft oh <laughs> anyway so this is the shaft that is a direct drive to the gear that turns the lead screw this here is the gear that cut that is directly into the AC motor that's in this unit. So I'm gonna take a close shot just to show you here what it looks like. I'm gonna do that with my phone. Okay, let's close right into this thing. All right, see, that's a really strange gear, right? It's kind of helical. Well, it is a helical. So as the main gear moves out in, etc this is able to stay engaged. Okay, so I'm gonna continue taking this thing apart and we'll get right into the guts of it. And basically we'll end up, you know, taking this whole unit apart so that we can have the whole shaft out. <laughs> I have to laugh sometimes at some of the processes that go on in my head, but anyway, uh, before I take this whole thing apart, I thought, well, how about I just take a mini square, this is a two inch square, and check to see if this is straight. Well, as it turns out, it's bent. So it is bent. Uh, now, how do I fix that? I don't know. But one of the things that I noticed as well is that there's no play in what is likely to be some sort of sleeve back here looks to be a bronze sleeve so the only thing to do now is to get this all out of here and see if one i can either straighten the shaft or we'll have to make a new one let's take it apart Okay, so let me zoom out a bit. So now the casing is separated. And if we were to look at it from the other side, which is what you've seen before, this is the shaft we're talking about here. And so it comes right through, there's a spring. And you see here, it actually moves in and out. Um, let me put this aside here. And there's a pivot right here. So the movement in and out is clearly normal. So now what I need to do is just probably remove this pin and uh, take the shaft out. Let's do that. 
All right, so here's the pivot pin right here. And there's a little locking ring here, so I have to push that out, I guess. Yep. All right. All right, here goes nothing. That is a very smart, small ring, so uh, that could be interesting. Hmm. Of course, circuit board's in the way. There we go, I think. Wow. It's going to be fun. Oh, there we go. I think I've got it. All right. Hmm. Good idea to put everything in a little container. Okay, so here comes uh, that pin that holds the pivot. There it goes. Let's see if I can remove the pivot. Uh -huh. What else is stuck in this thing? Very interesting. There we go, just like that. Toss it aside. Now, we have that pin on the other side we have to take out. And currently, there's a few things in the way. Now, there's a pin that's pressed in here. Quite certain it's a pin, yeah, and not a, not a gib screw or a set screw. So, and there's another pin here. So clearly taking this thing apart is going to be not quite recommended. So taking this pin out on this side is probably the best option and it's not going to be an easy one. So I got to get set up to take that out. All right, so I've determined the only way to get this out is to basically knock it out with punches. And I've moved it up to the shaft, now I'm just going to finish getting it out. There it is. Okay, take that pin which is bent, put it here, we'll fix that later. Now, let's see if we can get this whole shaft out. Ooh. <laughs> Perhaps the fact that it's bent is not helping me there. I'm not tapping hard. Wow, that's really tight. So there's quite a curve to this thing. Okay, I'll move this aside. Here's our shaft. Oh yeah, I can <laughs> visibly see that it's bent. So let's clean that up a touch and uh, grab a rule here, straight edge from Mitsutoya. Oh boy, yeah, we've got a uh, curved hockey stick. And as you know, we're in Canada, so everything is measured in hockey sticks. Let me show you. Goodness gracious here. <laughs> Look at the moon. <laughs> Look at the space of this thing. So, Bob, everybody that commented on the last video, thank you for steering me to check this out. Clearly that was not normal. <laughs> and I thought it was. Okay, and I thought it was just a strange design. So now, uh, I need to straighten this out. So I think... Maybe a little bit of heat in the vise or something like that. There's some uh, non-metallic bushings here. Don't want to melt those. Oh, and look, there's a little wheel here as well. So uh, let me figure out what I'm going to do and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I like the idea of keeping things simple. 
So just find where there is about here is where it's uh, the most accentuated. It's and it's primarily around where this hole is located. So let's see if I can just tap it in place. Almost. Wow, that's close. All right, got a touch more here. That's almost great. Now, we could go the scientific route and uh, put in a V-block and see how much there's left. But honestly, just looking at it with my eyes here, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to check real quick using a straight edge one more time. Oh yeah, that looks great. I'm not sure if you can see this, guys. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, here we go. Just from my perspective, I hardly see any light. I mean, it's not perfect. There's a, still a little bit of a bend right here. That's where it sits in the bushing, so. Yeah, there's still a bend right here. So I gotta move that just a touch right there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty well on the money. Good. So now I'm going to take a diamond file, something very, very fine. Take off the little marks that I left with my hammer and uh, put it back into action and see what happens. There we go, nice sliding fit. The true test is we'll be putting it into this bushing here. See what we got. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. Great. If you have to knock it out, you know it's tight, right? So we'll grease that up, put that back together, and we'll try it out. All right, gentlemen, I have reassembled the, the power feed. Let me show you something that's really interesting here. When this lever is activated, the gear goes in and out. See, look, isn't that cool? Clearly, that's why they made that helical gear. But anyway, it works rather well now. A very minimal of that wobble that was present before, which means, of course, uh, the gears are in constant contact and the uh, contact is rather positive, which is lovely. So, with all that said, I'd like to thank my viewers for uh, straightening me out <laughs> and leading me to the fact that there was actually an issue. So, thanks a lot guys, Bob and all the other guys that uh, piped up. I really appreciate your comments. 
to everyone else that's watching this video, the YouTube family is just phenomenal. So uh, don't be afraid to jump in. If you got great ideas, share them on YouTube. Uh, we're all here to support each other. So thanks everyone. Please like and subscribe and uh, shoot me a comment if you'd like. Take care. Bye-bye.